Welcome to the House of Kittens, everyone. This is Fukat, and today we are back for more Mortal Kombat X to play. Um, maybe Sonya's, that's what I'm thinking. So when did they show up? The portal opened by the docks a few hours ago. Nearly 5,000 in all. Refugees from the Outworld Civil War. Must be bad if they risk coming to Earth, Ralph. After you. Do not dwell on your encounter with the Lin Kuei, son. Pretty hard not to. Aw, mind reading bondage. <laughs> I seriously gotta shut up. Thanks, Kenshi. Could you and Mr. Cage join us? Sergeant Cage, you and your team as you were. This is Li Mei. She seeks asylum for her people in Earthrealm. Our village, Sando, was the epicenter of a fierce battle. We barely escaped with our lives. Such is war. I mean, no offense, but you outworlders kind of live for that, right? This was different. The rebels, Melina, had a weapon unlike anything. Entire battalions erased. It was not honorable, not combat. Tell me more about the weapon. A talisman, gold, with a center jewel. Melina wields its crimson energy without precision. Well, that's good then. Not now, Sergeant Cage. It is enough that she possesses it. It turns the tide in her favor. The Emperor grows desperate, and those caught in the middle pay the price. If this talisman is what I suspect it to be, we may all pay a price. We talking about Shinnok's amulet? Can't be. The base, the vault, your warnings. SF, Shaolin, no way anyone can get past all that. I must be certain. Well, this is cozy. You remind me of an Earthrealmer who crossed over with us. He also found humor in everything. Handsome guy, right? He was an Earthrealmer. One of his eyes glowed red. What does she mean? Kenshi, continue with Lee Mei. I'm going to the refugee camp. Gotta get to him before he finds a way out. I'll come with. Go get an update on camp security from Colonel Flag. Why? Because then you won't be here. Are we with you? No. I need to confirm with Kotal Khan that Li Mei's story is true. You and your team are going to Outworld. Yay, the Outworld Marketplace. Oh, Kung Jin. Don't believe everything you see online. And what makes you an expert? The Shaolin Archives. I studied a lot about Outworld. No substitute for experience. So what makes you our leader? Guys, let's stick to the mission. Li Mei has to be telling the truth. An invasion would violate the Reiko Accords. But you can always trust an outworlder. But if outworlds are ally, why didn't they help us during the Netherrealm War? Against Quan Chi and his team of... Revenants? Like Jackie's dad? Asshole. It's not an alliance, not an aggression pact. Outworld is not our ally. A point you might make with more subtlety, given your surroundings. Now state your business, including a reason why we shouldn't kill you. I can read you. You're not from Outworld. I'm from Earthrealm, like you. But my employer, Kotal Khan, is from Outworld. So now I'm from Outworld. State your business. We're emissaries. We need to talk to Kotal Khan. Here, we have Raiden's official seal. I can buy one of those at that stall right over there. Look, you can arrest us, even kill us. But if we're telling the truth, we probably get a pay cut. Or worse. You take us to the Khan, I'll tell him you took us down. 
Maybe you get a bonus. You can't lose. Follow me. In these times of war, we are required to view every resource as a weapon for our emperor to use at his discretion. To take without his leave is to steal from the hand of Kotal Khan himself. Therefore, having been found guilty of theft, you shall be put to death. I was hungry. Your sentence will be carried out immediately. Death? For petty theft? Remember where you are. Jin? I shouldn't have listened to you. A lesson in trust from a mercenary. Here's another learning opportunity. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was a good start. I was not expecting the start to go that quickly. Uh, Aaron Black is kind of a bitch though, so try to be careful. Huh, that was pretty quick. God damn this fucker and his freaking shooting coins and then turning into freaking needles. This guy's like the new Kano, I guess. I, mean, I know he's like Western and all that, and Kano's like Australianish. Huh? Kind of makes sense, right? I'm a quick learner. What, Farah and Tor? For a pony like every other girl? The archives never mention symbiotes. Alright, another interactive cutscene. Alright, let's remember. Remember. I wonder how tough it is to make interactive cutscenes in like actual games like JavaScript or and all that like how does it work never done it before when I was making a unity game but it sounds tight it sounds kind of complicated to do might be wrong I mean for like something like Unreal Engine I bet it is extremely hard to make as Unreal Engine is not easy to like learn from you know because it's more professional like to make anything out of that engine Never realize how time just like doesn't move during the time that an X-ray goes by. I'd never noticed that. It's like a few things I would ever even notice. Okay. Kung Jin has pretty much been like the easiest person to use. 
I'm happy about that. Bad to say. Yeah, so far I've won everything. Love to learn more about you. Too bad you're insane. Just play Elder Scrolls Online. You'll learn a lot about them. You guys all right? <laughs> the Earth Rumbles, yes. This one must learn more of your diplomatic techniques. We're here to see Kotal Khan. General Blades... You interfere with outworld matters. The penalty is death. I'm sensing a theme. But, as we honor the Lako Accords, we will consult the Emperor. You will await him here. You want to take this opportunity to tell us what the fuck shit you were thinking? I gotta wonder why you'd risk inter-realm war for a bread thief. Because not all thieves are irredeemable. Five years ago? I knew it. It tends to be a lot like five years ago every time. I haven't seen anything like eight years ago or ten years ago. I think I've seen it ten years ago, but that, I don't know. No, I think I've seen 25 years ago. The legends. It has more sentimental than monetary value. Nevertheless, I would prefer you did not steal it. It's a family heirloom, one that shouldn't have been given to you. Your family honored me with this memento of your cousin Lao, after his death. The death you caused! You made him fight Shao Kahn! And stood there while that bastard snapped his neck! You go too far, Kung Jin. No, not far enough. Okay. Oh. It's hard to like get him into like one like close up attack. I'll save the X ray. Since I already have it like blocked right now and I'm almost winning. Okay, I won. Gotta do that shit majorly quick. Or else you're not gonna get a turn. Well, you'll still get a turn, but you're just gonna get hit multiple times. Well. Have it your way, have it your way. You know, have it your way like McDonald's. Just let me go. Blood of Kung Lao, descendant of the great Kung Lao, a common thief. Did you think you could walk unimpeded into my temple? 
and walk out again without my complicity? You wanted me to attack you. Why? To release your anger, make you amenable to reason. You make me feel like shit. Self-loathing has always been an unfortunate part of your makeup. There lies ahead a brighter path, one that will truly honor your ancestors, one that is worthy of you. Go to the Wuxi Academy, join the Shaolin, like Kung Lao before you. I can't. They won't accept. They care only about what is in your heart, not whom your heart desires. It's too late for me. It is never too late, Kung Jin. Your news of refugees is troubling. Their exodus to Earthrealm was not known to me. I do know this. I invited no guests from Earthrealm. Certainly none who would disrupt the execution of justice. How do I know you are not allied with Melina? Perhaps her newfound power has earned her new friends. Friends? No. No, we're not even sure that Shinnok's amulet she had. She employed Shinnok's amulet against me. The very item Earthrealm swore would be safe in its care. When Outworld was offered no participation. We were under attack, not Outworld. Odal Khan, the fire that burns the sun. We are here because we share your concerns about the missing item. We intend no ill against your rule. At least one Earthrealmer can forge words like silver. But I recall an Earthrealm expression. There is more honor among thieves than diplomats. I've had the questionable fortune to be both Emperor, but I'm telling you the truth. You are allied with Melina. You may carry out your sentence. Kotal Khan, under outworld law, I claim the right of defense by combat. What? You're gonna fight a duel? To absolve us of all accusation. Denying the request brings dishonor upon the accuser. You know much of outworld. No, also, the duel ends in death. Well, I better win this shit. <laughs> you have won nothing. Merely a few more seconds of breath. What? Did I just kick him and then just fall back? What kind of bullshit was that? Okay, my question here. Why is, like, their costume, like, still stable after, like, all these attacks? I mean, I know I'm just... I know this is just a video game, but still. I always wanted to point out, like, the realities of things. Wow. I should be winning. Okay, there we go. I didn't want to end in death. Yes. The charges against you are void. I say to all that Earth Realm means outworld no harm. Now kill me. Be done with it. You're not actually gonna. 
Instead of your life, I claim your service. Melina does have the amulet. We can get it from her more easily if we work together. Emperor, they cannot be trusted. Flora, can you not perceive? I am indebted to them. You honor us, Kotal Khan. Our gratitude is wide like the ocean. I'll talk to General Blade. Tell her about our new... arrangement. Thanks for the heads up, Sergeant. Stay with Kotal Khan. Alright, there we go. And that's the end of that chapter of Kung Jin's. Now we have Sonya Blade. I tend to get mixed up a lot with the whole chapters. And I tend to talk too much when I'm doing these chapters at the end, but I guess it's because, like, you know, the cutscenes are paused right now. So that's why I talk a lot at this moment, and I really need to talk at these moments because the game is mostly cutscenes. Like, the fights is, like, the only time I can, like, commentate, and that's not a lot of commentary. So, oh, I got... Actually, that's not a lot. 2,000 gold. Yeah, I am, like, dead out of gold right now. So I gotta get that boosted up very time soon. Um, yeah, stay tuned for Sonya Blade's chapter, which should be tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. I'm actually recording everything at one time right now, like, just recording it at this very moment. I'm actually, you know, I just started from chapter 1 to right now, so it's taken a while. It's almost 5 o'clock right now. That's freaking insane. I, I want to get some sleep, but shit, I, I laid out, like, I lazied out on making these Let's Plays. So, I'm not going to be doing it for this night. We're going to be playing it all freaking night until the end. Which shouldn't be too far. Is that chapter 5? I think we're close. So, stay tuned for the next chapter of Sonya Blades. And subscribe in the outro if you have not. Share this to your friends on Facebook and Twitter. It's always Stay Us Kitten, Stay Us Cat, Stay Us Kubikit Army. I will see you then.